in October 2016, I met three young ladies by way of a carpooling website called coseats.com. I was looking to take the coastal drive from Melbourne to Sydney, wanting to share the experience and expenses. Before long, I'd booked a $5 a day relocation camper van by Maui Rentals. And then we, four total strangers, were off on a three-day adventure together. This is our story. We're getting geared up for our first full day in the camper van. We picked it up yesterday afternoon and spent a bit of time trying to figure out where we were gonna go and how we were gonna go about it, but this thing is huge. Let me give you a quick tour. So much bigger than Gertie from a couple years ago. We have this awesome, already uh, dirty living space <laughs> stove kitchen. Even the bathroom is like, I don't even know how to get in here. Look at shower, toilet. We've got a bed area that turns into seating and another seating area that turns into a bed. And then there's another bed up there. And yeah. Eden, which is about halfway, a little more than halfway, on our trek from Melbourne to Sydney. And this is a coastal uh, town or city, which is just gorgeous here. We're gonna stop and have dinner. There's our camper van. We're gonna stop and have dinner along the, the ocean front and then head to our camping car park area. Second full day driving to Sydney. And we're just waking up. Gonna go brush our teeth and then hit the road. Not a shabby breakfast spot. Making a pit stop in Tilba, which is an adorable little town, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Looks like we're on their movie set.
arrived at Pebbly Beach, which is known for having wild kangaroos hanging out, grazing by the water. And it's true, look at them all. just before, about five minutes before 6 a.m. on our final day of our road trip. We were hoping to get up to watch the sunrise, which according to Google is at 5.58 a.m., but it's a bit overcast and rainy. Breakfast with a view.